crispy. Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got with me the Tomi and Takara Battle Attack Mega Venusaur. Uh, this kind of caught my eye. I'm not sure why. Uh, mostly because the scale. I've seen some pictures of it online with people with their Nendoroid red figures, and it looked really, really good with those. So I kind of got with that. It did seem fun. I like the overall design. But I'm, uh, I'm kind of on the fence about it. Hopefully I will like it. Hopefully I will enjoy taking pictures of it. And I will let you know as we open it up. As you can see, he's got this little spinner thing that you put on top and it kind of just launches off. It's more of a, just a little gimmick thing. But let's open it up and find out what it's all about. Out of package, we've got Mega Venusaur here. Before I get into the little gimmicky uh, spinner or shooter off thing, I just want to take a quick look at the actual figure. Uh, this is not, you can't push that down. For some reason, I felt like it looked like you could push it down. Articulation, he moves his legs back and forth around a swivel here. You can kind of see the screws in the bottom, which I'm not a big fan of. But they are in the bottom, so not a big deal. His his palm tree on his back can move. None of these leaves are articulated or anything. Uh, on the back here, we get a good look at his butt. And he's got some acne on his butt there. Here's the little lever. That'll make it shoot off. You can see it moving up here. I'll show you that in just a minute. Get a look at the vines here. Again, more screws. Not a big fan of the screws, but not a big deal because they are kind of hidden, or they're hidden pretty well. And uh, the function, that you can move this back and forth, so you can have them shoot it certain ways, which is pretty neat. Overall, I do like the design. Pretty cheap figure for its size. Uh, I can't remember how much exactly I paid for it. I'm going to say like $20, and I found it at Toys R Us is where I got mine. Um, I'm pretty sure you can find it at Target. Or other retailers like, uh, you know, Amazon. It's not a Toys R Us exclusive, I don't think. It would say on the box. So, anyways, you put this on top. Turn it. I think you keep turning it until you can't turn it no mo. And then it kind of does that. Let me back up here. You can see my light there. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to go off camera here. I'm trying to get this as best as I can. No promises. Sorry about that light there. Alright, I'll try to shoot it at the camera. If I break my camera, you guys gotta buy me a new one. Okay, ready? One, two, three, launch! <laughs> so I got pretty good range on that. It goes pretty far, it makes a cool noise. Let me go retrieve that real quick. One more time for the kids. So you gotta pop it on there. You gotta kinda find its groove. You can't just shove it on there. Find its groove. Twist it. There we go. And this time I'll do it close. Camera won't look up very far. Alright, let's try it. One, two, three. So yeah, there you go. That's about all it does. Kind of cool. I can see if it was fun as a kid. Uh, I don't know why they never made this stuff when I was a kid. So you kids these days are getting a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff to enjoy. Overall, though, I'm going to recommend it. I like this Mega Venusaur. Like I said, I found mine at... Uh, where did I find mine? I found mine at Toys R Us. So check out Toys R Us if you like it. Other than that, you can also check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description below. Just click the link there. And uh, have a good day. Peace out.